Hey everybody, welcome back. It's Ruben with Texas All Water Fishing and I just wanted to take a few minutes and tell you about a mic that I recently bought. Um, I've had it probably for about a month now and I take it out for took it out for a handful of trips. Um, I bought a Purple Panda Lab mic. It's a little microphone kit. It comes with a USB adapter, a mini USB adapter. It comes with 9.8 feet of extension cord. It also comes with a TRS adapter, a fuzzy windscreen, a little drawer string pouch to carry all your stuff in. Comes with an extra clip. And it's great. Um, I've used it several times so far in the marsh. I just wanted to see how it held up before I uh, put a review out there for you. Now I looked on the market, there's all different kind of lab mics out there. To me this is the most budget friendly lab mic on the market, uh, review wise. Uh, currently it has 779 reviews and it has 4 stars. I mean, if you do, if you do, if you have any kind of editing software then you could take the time out and edit the sound quality a little more. It's not the best sound quality there is. However, it's great for the price. And it's very good for someone such as me. I do a lot of kayak fishing. I'm always in the wind, always on the water. So I was really looking for a mic to cut out a lot of that wind noise. The mic isn't hooked up so because I have it hooked up to my hat. So sorry for the audio quality right now that I'm recording. But while we're speaking of hats, I also went out to the Houston Fishing Show and I picked up an action hat, do-it-yourself kit. Now, I've had, over the last several months of YouTube, I've had several different variations of hats that I use or, or do-it-yourself. This was actually on a hat, but I took it off and, and put it on my beloved Rockets hat. I want to do-it-yourself kit. I wanted to pick a hat that I could choose, pick the hat to my liking and would fit more comfortably to me so that's why I went with the kit instead of just the actual action hat but I mean it's very simple very easy uh, taken out a few times and you can see here this is this is my little mic set up here but you know I, I enjoy this mic um, recommend it to anybody out there like I said I think I've taken it out four times so far and it's held up great um, I definitely would buy it again. I paid $32 for it and right now on Amazon it's $43 so I don't know why, why they increased the price. I guess so many people were purchasing this mic. I have no idea but there, there was a price increase. So it's about $42. Bucks. Another additional reason why I bought it because when the accessory comes with it comes with the TRS adapter and by itself the TRS adapter is probably somewhere around $13. So to me that cut out the cost. And it comes with adapter. So that adapter will run to your overpriced GoPro Hero adapter. And then your mic will plug into this end like that. Here's a couple clips so you hear it sounding what it sounds like with and without the mic. And you can also hear what it sounds like in the wind at about 12, mile, 12 to 14 miles an hour winds. These birds probably want to know I keep pestering them. Why do you keep chasing me, man? Probably what they're thinking. It's pretty windy now. It's about maybe about 13 miles an hour wind. So just doing a mic check. A 13 mile an hour wind mic check. So we will see how good this mic works. The direct wind. About 12 to 13 miles an hour. So this is a sound quality with the Purple Panda mic lab connected. This is the quality with the mic connected. Now this is the quality without any mic connected. This is just straight Hero 5 mic. Without any mic connected, straight Hero 5. Just want to tell everybody thanks for viewing, thanks for watching. If you're not a subscriber yet, go and hit that subscribe button. And we'll see 
everybody real soon back on the water. Thanks.